Shalom, my people. It's your sister Jay, and I'm doing some country living in my kitchen today. I'm just showing you a quick way to process your greens and get them ready for canning. After I've washed them and sanitized them, because um, I usually use uh, food grade hydrogen peroxide in, um, when I'm cleaning them, then after that, I cut them up and I put them in hot water for about five minutes. The canning process is going to actually let them cook some more. So I like my greens with a little crisp to them. So I don't want to uh, overcook them before I put in there. So like I said, I don't bring it to a boil. I just have water, no seasonings in here and just um, I'm letting them get um, to a hot temperature because I'm trying to make sure the enzymes that's on the leaves will stop working. Uh, the enzymes will cause your leaves to uh, turn black. And uh, when you're canning, if you ever have black greens in there, it's because you didn't stop the enzymes <laughs> from continuing to um, break down the leaf, uh, the enzymes. Uh, so the hot water stops the enzymes from working. So that's all I'm doing there. So um, they're, they've been in there about five minutes. So I'm going to drain them and show you the next step. Okay guys, another thing I do to prepare my jars to, ster I, to sterilize them, I put them in the oven for 15 minutes on 500. So I'm going to take them out right now. Ooh. So those have been sterilized. Okay guys, after the jars have uh, cooled down a little bit, I Get my apple cider vinegar. I love brag. Two is I use one tablespoon in each each jar. Okay, guys, and I also put. I have a teaspoon of salt in each jar. I usually use kosher salt. I'm making a mess, guys. <laughs> now, I got the salt in there and then I fill up the jar. halfway with filtered water. So this is my filtered water. Now I have to put the greens in the jar. <laughs> okay. I'll pause here and get that process done. Okay, guys, I got the greens in the um, jars. I prepared more jars than I had greens, but um, I did get to fill up two of them. I'll probably have some more greens tomorrow, so I'll be doing two more jars tomorrow. But after I've put the greens in the, in the uh, water and the apple cider vinegar, I also use a little bit of apple cider vinegar to make sure the top is clean on the jars before I seal them. So I just go around the edge here with a paper towel and the apple cider vinegar just to make sure it's clean. Do the other jar apple cider vinegar 
and salt is used as a preservative for the um, for the greens and it'll keep it from spoiling now the method I'm going to show you how to can is an easy method doesn't take anything but a pot and a good lid because although I have pressure cookers I'm showing you the old-fashioned method before the pressure cookers so once you've cleaned off the top you always want to make sure there's at least an inch you don't want to fill anything up to the rim you because you need the pressure to make it seal the negative pressure from the air space between the liquid and the top so once you get finished with that you're gonna seal the top try to make sure you put it on as correctly as possible now in here as you hear you can push down so that means it's not sealed yet so you're just putting the top on make sure it's on aligned correctly and you seal it okay now on to the next step okay guys after that I filled up my pot halfway with water and because I only got two jars I don't have a full thing going on here I put a towel at the bottom so it'll keep the jars from moving around and and um, rattling and as we go so after that you just put place the jars in the water you don't want the water to feel more than half of the jar so so let me see if I can show you this see the water level is not over the jar it's just right there like halfway so so I'm gonna put both of these in here and you're gonna bring them to a boil and then I'll show you the next step so once you get them positioned you just place a top on top that seals as you see it's right on there um, so it will start to steam and everything but just let it do its thing so I'll come back once it comes to a boil as you see guys um, it's steaming now because it's boiling and I just want I'm going to check to see if the liquid inside the jars are boiling that's when you know it's time to take them out when the liquid inside the jar is actually boiling so I'm going to check okay guys well the jars have cooled off now and as you see it's no longer popping so it's sealed and see how it's there's no longer a bleb at the top so this is now sealed and then all I do is mark what it is and what date I did now these usually last about uh, six to eight months sealing it this way if you want to seal them longer you would use a pressure cooker but uh, for usually I go through my greens very quickly so six to eight months is a good thing because I usually go through everything I store before the next grow, growing season well that's all I have for you today take care of yourself and each other eating foods from the most high until next time shalom